Okay, we're here with this unit here, and no matter how often they charge it, this is what they're getting. Uh, these are COVID batteries by far. They're uh, appropriate for this machine, which is, these are fine. This is, these are what we call group 31s, and that's perfect for this machine. Um, so when we actually turn on the battery, oh, that's bad. It has to be at least 24 volts for it to function properly. We have an update. I just wanted to check to make sure the charger is, is working. So I just plugged it in within two minutes. We're already halfway charged, even though we're not. That's another sign of um, sulfation of batteries is the rapid recharge of a battery pack when they're really depleted, they're really discharged. It should take much longer. It should still be on the red. That's the bulk phase of charging. Um, maximum voltage, maximum current. So these are sick fellas right here. So, but the charger is working. You can see how much voltage and that's way too much because it's trying and trying really hard, but that's what happens. Okay, back motor sounds bad. I'm gonna test the brush motor, the pad motor. Okay, that sounds pretty good, not bad. Solenoid's working. Now here's the real kicker. That sound there is a bad impeller motor and you're actually losing uh, water lift when that happens. So I'm hoping it's available. If it's not, then uh, we'll have to um, BER this because we're not going to search over hot, you know, if they're not, if they're, if they're not going to make it available for us, we can't go through, you know, the country and search and search that time and it's, it's wasted. Um, we're also going to see if we can get some um, hoses and I would like to replace this bottom hose, but that's all contingent on the back motor. 